Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I am making bang bang cauliflower. My friend Erin shared this with me a few months ago, and when she told me about it, she said, I am addicted to this cauliflower. I just can't get enough of it. Well, I thought, is it possible to be addicted to cauliflower? Or maybe I ought to give this a try. I did, and I can see exactly why she says that. This cauliflower is going to be baked in a delicious breadcrumb and served up with the most sweet and spicy, delicious sauce that you have ever had. I make this for myself a lot. Unfortunately, my husband does not indulge. Cauliflower, no way, no how, ain't happening for him. So guess what? I get to have all of this myself. I'm starting with a head of cauliflower and I've already cut it up into pieces and you just want to make sure when you're cutting up your cauliflower that you cut it into pieces that are pretty consistently the same that way when you put it on your cookie sheet and you bake it it's all going to bake at the same time so that's really important now I am about to add this cauliflower to my favorite kitchen tool, and that is a Ziploc bag. They are going right in. I love cauliflower. I love it cooked. I love it raw. I know this is the rage right now with the keto diet and the low carb meals, but honestly, my mother and my dad used to eat cauliflower raw, and so I just kind of grew up doing the same, and I have always, always loved it. I'm not going to let any of this go to waste. This is quite a bit of cauliflower. You can make this in batches. You don't have to cook the whole head, but I love the leftovers. Now, I am going to add about a cup of buttermilk. And I'm pouring it right over my cauliflower. This buttermilk is going to give this cauliflower just a really delicious, savory taste. And it's also going to help our breading stick. So I'll tell you more about that in a minute. It seems like so many recipes in my life consist of buttermilk and some sort of breading. Listen, when you start out with that, you know that you're gonna finish with something good. All right, I am just gonna let this hang out for a minute. And guess what? <laughs> I have bag number two. And in this bag, I am going to add about a cup to a cup and a half of panko breadcrumbs. You know, the recipe can vary on the amount of breadcrumbs that you use because sometimes a head of cauliflower can be this big and sometimes it can be this big. This is an average size, so I'm going to start out with about a cup. Now to that, I'm going to add a little bit of cornstarch. Now my friend Erin is really doing this low carb thing. And she has found panko breadcrumbs that are made out of pork rinds. And they are completely carb free. Now, I have not found those in Dothan, Alabama, but I have heard of people just taking pork rinds and grinding them up and using them in place of the panko breadcrumbs. So, I have yet to try that, but I plan on it. Not because I'm really watching my carbs, but because it just sounds good. Pork rinds? Okay, I can do that. Now, to this, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this seasoning. And this is basically just a seasoned salt. Whatever seasoned salt that you like, 
just use it. Now I will say that our sauce is going to be spicy. So I'm not adding a lot of spice to my breading. That way I am just not doing an overkill with all the spicy hot stuff. I'm gonna mix this together. And now I am going to get my baking sheet. I've lined the baking sheet with some parchment paper and I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Usually with the parchment paper, things don't stick, but I wanna be extra sure that my cauliflower is not going to stick. Now, that is done. I'm gonna give this another shake. And I am going to add the cauliflower, just a few pieces at the time, to my panko breadcrumbs. Now this isn't gonna stick like a really thick breading, but it is gonna give you just a nice little crunchy texture that is so good. And look at this. Mmm, that looks so good. And now I'm just going to lay it on my cookie sheet. And I'm going to finish my cauliflower. And I'll see you back here in a minute. All of my cauliflower has been breaded. I will say that I did have to add a few more of the panko breadcrumbs and a little bit more seasoning to my bag because once the panko breadcrumbs started getting wet with the buttermilk, I needed to add a little bit more just to make them stick to the cauliflower. But look at this. Oh, this looks so good. Now, I took some of the breading and I sprinkled it around because for me personally, I love that stuff. So, it's kind of like when you get the fish and chips and you have those little crunchies in your basket. This is along that same line. Now, I preheated my oven to 375 degrees and these are going right in. They're gonna cook for about 30 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Well, while those are cooking, I'm gonna get started on our sauce. This sauce is so, so good. I can hardly wait to tell you about it. Now, the base of the sauce is mayonnaise. In my world, nothing can be bad if it's got mayonnaise in it. And I'm adding a half of a cup. And I'm adding some of this sweet Thai chili sauce. Now this has a little bit of a kick to it. So if you'd like, add one teaspoon and then taste it and see how you like it before you add the other. And I've also got some sriracha, which is so, so good. Oh, might help if I open it. And I'm adding three teaspoons of that. Now, sriracha isn't your thing. It's kind of like a, a spicy ketchup. Add a little ketchup. That would be just fine. And last but not least, I'm adding some of this rice vinegar and two teaspoons go right in. Hey baby, you smell my cauliflower? <laughs> I know you're wanting some of this, right? <laughs> mm. Believe it or not, I will be eating all of this myself. 
no sharing here. Now I'm whisking this together. Now I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Well, I'm gonna clean up, go check on my husband, and we're gonna plate up this cauliflower and I'm gonna show you just how good this bang bang cauliflower is. Look at this beautiful cauliflower. It smells so wonderful in here. Now, I'm gonna take a few of these and put them on my platter. If you have a vegetarian in your life or someone that is really watching their carbs right now, this is an excellent thing to make. Look how crispy and brown. Last but not least, I have a little bit of a garnish. I have some chives that I'm gonna do just a little rough chop on and some cilantro. Now these are optional, but you know me. Not only do I want it to taste good, I want it to be free. So, these chives are going right over the top as well as in our sauce. And the cilantro. I just love cilantro. I think it's one of those herbs that you either love or you hate. And that is going on the top. Mm, look how good this looks. Now, I have just got to taste one of these. I dip this in the sauce. right. This can be addicting. It is absolutely amazing. Mm. There's just enough sweet and just enough spicy and that cauliflower roasted brings out the best of its flavor. I hope that you'll try this. You're a blessing to me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please press that like button and share it with your friends. Hey, the more the merrier. I hope that you have a blessed day. I pray blessings over you and your life. And hmm, I am going to just enjoy my delicious cauliflower and knowing this time I don't have to share. I'll see you next time.